Hello everyone, here is a quick demo of advanced Microsoft Teams Jira connector. Uh, our app supports Jira Cloud, it provides a very nice functionality which should help you to be more productive, spend less time switching between Microsoft Teams and Jira, uh, receive less notifications so you have less noise, so you don't need to check your mails often, customize the content of notifications, so you will get what only what you want, when you want and when you care about this. You can configure notifications on global project or personal or even issue level. And of course, if you set up the way integration, you can interact with cards, you can transition them, create issues from Jira and do many other things. And on top of this, if you're using Jira on-premises and soon on the cloud as well, you can schedule many reports and alerts, which will help you to be more productive, more efficient, know what's going on around you, don't miss important things and updates. So let's jump into a quick demo. So assume our first use case would be you want to get notified when an important issue is created. So you will create a rule uh, in a particular project in this case, which is called demo project. You will create a rule which would uh, send Microsoft Teams notification in a Jira feed channel when an issue is when an issue is created and only uh, when the issue has a label important. So we have notification in a channel called Jira demo fit. In this case, let's click create one. So we will do a quick demo issue. And the main stuff is to do a label. Here's the issue created. As you see, it basically starts in the backlog. It's not assigned to anyone. And here it comes to Microsoft Teams. You can see this issue. So you can see this issue and uh, now we can assign it and of course transition. So let's move it to in progress. It should help us indicate that we have started working on a particular issue. Let's see if demo got so with us. So in this scenario, we moved it to in progress and here it comes, so the issue moved in progress and it's signed to ourselves. So the next case, let's decide, or let's see if we want to discuss this issue with someone else from our team. So we jump into an issue and we yeah, want to create an issue discussion channel. For this scenario, we again, we need to log in into Microsoft Teams from Jira. Uh, as we've done before, it's pretty smooth and fast operation. We create a team where we want to hit notification and a new channel name. Let's leave it as this for our demo six issue. And in this case, let's, by opening this, we jump into this discussion channel. And for example, we can say, we can search and say, Michael, oh, wait a second, move forward. Uh, demo six. And so demo 6 here is our card and for example we can uh, share it with the team as well here. Uh, another cool uh, feature which you may do for your support team or for your software team as well. In this feed you can have a tab uh, with a particular Jira filter where you can review uh, the issues which basically turn for some Jira saved filter. So here's those issues, for example, in this case, this is an issue we can create it. Another particular case which could be interested is interesting is a similar use case for Jira service management when uh, we have our internal support project where we create support requests. So we have a rule which would uh, allow us to receive notifications when a new request is created. In this case, it's a, a rule for demo service management project for issues created, but another stuff we use here is we want to specify the content of the message, like which issue type, reported creator, of course we can drag and drop and change them here, or remove, and then we basically say, and in this scenario let's create a demo request, let's say I want to request a new account, please uh, create a new 
Pan for me. Uh, that's it. So it's not assigned to anyone. It's just support request. It comes in, and then we get a notification in our support channel about this particular request uh, with the fields we selected, as well as in this support feed we can uh, view all open issues. Uh, and let's Im imagine after some time we worked in this support request it's time to close it and we basically transition it but because of Jira service management we need to provide some uh, additional input so we want to resolve this issue but we also have to put a resolution so let's say we've done this issue so we transition it in this scenario the issue should disappear from here disappear it so the case is done probably that's it if you have any questions is this, or you need help please reach out uh, to us via any channels like support or our service desk system and we are happy to make you a custom demo personal demo or record your screen share uh, give our app a try it's already used by thousands of customers from all over the world and we are platinum partner for our license so we basically care about you about your problems so feel free to reach out with any questions thank you very much